Welcome to the Android Developer Video Handbook, which will be a short series of videos that will familiarize you with creating Android apps using Eclipse and Flash CS 5.5. Apps that you can sell or offer free from the Android market so that all kinds of people using Android on their mobile device can enjoy your application. For those that do not yet know what Android is, let's quickly define it. Android is a software stack that renders an operating system, middleware, and applications. It was originally created by three men as Android Incorporated in 2003 and built to be a stack capable of handling mobile device operations. Google bought the little company in 2005, kept the three creators in place, and on it continues, fueled by Google Incorporated. Now you and I see an Android explosion about to take place in front of us and we want to know how to get our foot in the profitable door as application developers before all of the great app ideas are taken and put into place by others. Now let's move along to discussing Android app current development environments, which no matter what development environment you decide to use, the objective output file type is an APK file dot APK. So when our little application is finished being created by us, we have to render it out as a .apk file using certain development tools that allow us to do this. And what I'll focus on in this handbook is Eclipse and Flash CS 5.5, which Flash CS 5.5 is now available as a trial download, or you can just buy the software directly. And Eclipse is a free open source tool that you can use. Now since Eclipse is the more popular method of creating APK files for the Android market, we have it listed here first, and when it comes time to create our first .apk file for the market, we will demonstrate using Eclipse before we delve into using Flash. But as we demonstrate things, you'll notice that Java and ActionScript 3.0 are very similar in structure, the code. But for those of you that do not want or know Flash at all, I'll cover the use of using Eclipse and other open source alternatives to create and render Android market ready apps. In fact, I'll be covering the open source tools first. And between these two, Flash CS 5.5 and Eclipse, the more popular method of creating standardized Android applications is using the Java method, Eclipse, some version of Eclipse, or you can even use the command line interface to create your APK files. In previous versions of Flash, there were no native APK output abilities when using Air. You had to install some extension, then Adobe removed the extension because they were going ahead with Flash CS 5.5, so to have that extension in place would stop people from buying Flash CS 5.5, so they removed the free extension that they put for us to use that would create APK files, and now they have a tool that we can buy. I also feel it's important to let people know right away before they even get started in Android app development that you'll need two accounts, a Google account and then an Android app developer account, which has a $25 one-time fee, I think it's $25 right now, to sign up at the Android Marketplace as a developer who uploads apps to the market. So those are the things we'll need when it comes time to put things up at the market and the development environments we'll need to build, well the most popular ones are going to be Eclipse and Flash CS 5.5, which we are going to demonstrate using both of those. But the focus will be on Flash CS 5.5 since I'm better with Flash ActionScript 3.0 than I am with Java. But like I said, you'll see the code structures are very similar between the two languages.